Hey guys, it's Multiminer18 here, and today we are going to be working on another CSI lab. This time it's patching security systems and configuring antivirus. Um, so we're getting pretty close to the end. I've read all this, I do that previously. Um, it's loading up, we still got this same assignment, but we're just going to be doing number 12 on it. Um, we're going to be closing unnecessary ports, doing things like that. So the first thing I need to do is on step 4a, um, and it looks like I need to scan for the ports first. So I wait till here. Alrighty then, um, so we open this VM, I haven't seen the Kelly VM in a while, so it's root, and I have to actually be in the VM, the password is tor, okay, so we now we click on the black and white icon, second from the top, it's actually just the thing, um, and then we enter this code nmap 192.168.110 not slash enter um, and now it's gonna start it says it should take like 30 seconds to run um, let's go figure out what this is which VM did you scan for opening ports using nmap oh which VM the VM is Kali 2 Linux. Kali 2 Linux. And then the other thing is 192.168.1.101. 192.168.1.101. Now we have to take a screenshot of the open ports and insert that into the thing whenever we get to it. Um, excuse me. Oh, I did something wrong. Nmap 192.168.110. Get out of here, yo winker. Okay. Nmap 192.168.110. Okay, now it says it should take roughly 30 seconds. So we just gotta wait for that. On another note, like and subscribe. It's not hard. It's a choice. I just need to get subscribers, you know. You know how it be. Okay. Oh, big, big whoop. It's a lot of open ports. I don't think we can make it big enough to see all of them, though. And we cannot. I, at least I don't think so. Ah, so close. Okay. Well, take a screenshot anyway. Top to bottom. Screenshot has been taken. We'll go ahead and go and insert that into the thing. <coughs> um, screenshot. Okay. Skip all challenges. So next thing is step 14. Skip, skip, skip. Um, wow. Amazing. Okay, and now we 
minimize this, go into the Windows Server. I'm gonna click on that beautiful little thing. Notice you're seeing a black, okay. Um, administrator, P-A-S-S, W-0-R-D, applying settings. So we go into the command terminal. Let's see, what is this telling us to do? When you scroll down and click on the simple TCP slash IP service, look at the description, which five TCP slash IP services does it support? Okay. Yeah, I'll figure it out when I get there. Okay, so services dot msc. Where it says FTP. <laughs> I have to sneeze. So that is how. Okay, so this is what it supports, I think. Wait, is it telling us to get rid of this? It is. Okay. Supports character generator, daytime, discard, echo, and quote of the day. Okay, so support character creator. I am the worst at remembering things. Daytime discard echo. Daytime discard echo. And, and what was the last one? It's like quote of the day. Quote of the day. Yeah, that's a pretty useless um, port. <laughs> now, what does it want us to do? Us to disable this one too. Okay, we can apply that. Um, Telnet. Ah, I just went straight past it. Use the down arrow and change the startup type to disabled. Click apply and press OK. It's not disabled. Oh, step 17. What three services did you disable? Um, what three services? Oh. Okay, so we disabled. Um, FTP publishing service. And then we disabled simple STP. whatnots and we disabled telnet or something like that yep telnet 
Um, okay, so step 35 is the next thing. Okay. <coughs> Click on exit file, exit. Okay, firewall.cpl. Change settings. Exceptions you want. Delete it. Daytime. Delete it. And echo. Delete that one too. Uncheck FTP server in the list of firewall settings. Apply it. Delete this one. What was the next step? 35. Did we already do this? I don't know, I don't see it. Click OK to close the firewall settings, OK. Click that, click that. Um, click on Kali Linux. Us to go into here and it wants us to go into the end map 192 Say what? I feel like that's definitely not what should have popped up. It should have been in map 192.168.110. Oh my god, N amp. Am I stupid? Probably don't have to close it every time, but it's easier just to start fresh. N map. One nine two one six eight one ten. What? Ten. Boom. Okay, thirty seconds. Let's go. Whoops.
Oh, okay. So that happened. Now we want to look at the screenshot from before. Just stay down here. Um, open up the files. It's probably on the desktop. Okay. You can kindly go away. So the six that we closed are, I'm gonna write them down. They included TCP open FTP twenty three TCP open Telnet. Um, so there's twenty five is there, four is there, fifty three is there, eighty is there, eighty eight is there, one ten is there. So I need to find. Oh no. I should have screenshotted the top. They're all up there. That's annoying. Okay, so, um, if I go in here and look at these. So Telnet, Simple IP Services, this is bad. Are these? Maybe, maybe it'll show it up here on that one. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so seven echo, uh, seven, seven TCP open echo is gone. Um, daytime is gone. So thirteen. TCP open daytime that's gone we don't have 17 or 19 anymore seventeen TCP open quote did 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 um, 19 is gone, so 19 TCP open charging. Okay. Now that we've got all that out of the way, I need to type it up. So it is, we'll start from the lowest, so 7 slash 13. That is not right, what am I doing? TCP tab open tab daytime you don't like to listen very much and that's not right okay that's fine I guess 
And then we have 13 slash TCP tab open um, daytime. Oh, that's not daytime, that's echo. That one's daytime. And the next one is 17 TCP open QOTD. And we got 19 slash TCP space open charging. And then we got 21 TCP open FTP and then it's 12 no. and then we have last but not least open telnet What work it is to use your fingers to write things down. Um, reflection questions. I uh, will do this later. Right now, I need to see if we are completed with this. It looks like we done that part. <coughs> um, Still in Cali, and we want to do what? Service Um, <sighs> um, what? I should be doing something NFS. I mean, NSF console. <coughs> oh, there it is. Okay, in those few minutes to run, we'll go in this website. We need to find charge and service was maliciously used to crash. Type of server running which OS? Microsoft Protocol is commonly used in what type of attack? And um, 
in this type of attack. On what network connected device would the charging protocol commonly be implemented on? Printers? Ew. That's disgusting. Printers. A little weird. That is going to be a while. Anyway, is this done running? It looks as though it is. Now, what do we do? Oh my god, that is a long function. Use exploit. Slash Windows SMB slash MS. O nine underscore O fifty underscore SMB two underscore negotiate score. Function underscore index. Set roast one nine two one six eight one ten. Enter set. L host one nine two one six eight one one zero one set payload windows slash meter printer. Oh, skip two and three. Well, I'm done here. <laughs> Alrighty, well, good day. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys at the next lab, or if I make another gaming video, like and subscribe. Bye.